Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with FC25 game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to disconnect and reconnect the controller and then check if that does not work, restart FC25. So close the game and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work. This is for non-Steam users add EA desktop app to Steam. Now, if you don't have Steam, you can go to Steam website, install Steam, create account, login, and then go to Steam. Once Steam is open, on the left, on the bottom left here, you can see add a game option. Click on this plus icon, and then click on add a non-Steam game. And then over here, click on browse, and then go to C drive. Now open program files. Now open the electronic arts folder. Now open EA desktop folder. Now open EA desktop. Scroll down and find EA desktop. Now once you find EA desktop, select EA desktop. Now click on open. Once you click on open, here you can see EA desktop. Once there's a check mark over here, now click on add selected program. Now once EA desktop app is open, now you can launch EA desktop app from Steam. So if EA app is open in the background, close EA app. And then you can launch EA app from Steam. And then you can launch the game from EA app. And then check. Next step is to, now again this is for non-Steam users, add EA Sports FC 25 to Steam. Now this time you have to add Steam add the game to the Steam. Now for this, on the bottom left, again, click on add a game, non-Steam game. And then again, click on browse, go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files, Epic Games or EA Games. So open EA Games, open EA Sports FC 25. Now select this FC 25, click on open. Now once the game is added over here, now click on add selected program. Now, once the game is added over here, now launch the game from Steam and then you can check the controller. Now, make sure EA app is closed before you launch the game. Now, the next step is to launch Steam as an administrator and then launch the game. So, and make sure EA app is closed before you launch the game. So, you can first of all close Steam. You can go to Steam and then click on exit and then type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. And once the Steam is in, opens in as an administrator, now you can launch the game. Next step is to make sure disconnect, like if you have any external devices, if you have extra controller, any kind of like HOTAs, wheel, pedals, or any kind of USB adapter connected, USB dongle connected, disconnected. If you have any kind of virtual controller like VJoy or any, any virtual controller connected, you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game and then check. Next step is for Steam users, disable or steam, uh, enable Steam input. Now for this, go to Steam and then make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to controller tab and then over here select disable Steam input. Launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try enable Steam input and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Now, the next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode and then launch the game. So go to Steam on the top right here. You can see enter big picture mode icon. Click on enter big picture mode. Now, once Steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game and then check the controller. Now still not working. The next step is for PlayStation controller user. You can install this DS4 Windows or REWSD software, configure your controller and then check. Next step. Now next step is for Xbox controller user. You can install Xbox accessories app. So go to Microsoft store on your computer, open Microsoft store. And then in the search box, you can type in Xbox accessories app. and then you can install Xbox Accessories app, open it. Now you have to connect your Xbox controller using the USB cable, then you will be able to, it will detect your controller. You have to connect your controller using the USB cable. And then you will see the upgrade option, update the firmware option, update your controller. 
Now, the last step is to use wired connection. So if nothing is working, you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.